Hello, it's Sonia here with Enlightened with Truth. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about what lingers around the energy field in the body after we have healed or after we have gone through any type of release. I want to talk about something that is not mentioned that has been downloaded to me two nights ago and I've been really sitting with it thinking about yeah this is important to understand that even though we have healed through something that there is a residual energy around the body's field that has what we've just healed from so for example if it was some type of illness and the physical body has healed from it, I feel the energetic body still has some of that residual energy. So that's something I want to talk about today. And I even had to take notes down because when I start to, <coughs> excuse me, channel and get into these types of downloads, I really have to start writing it down for me not to forget. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So the residual body is the body that is outside of our physical space. It's this energy field that I would like to say starts from, you know, eight to about 12 inches and then we connect to the physical. So there is this belief, and, and science probably has proved it, but there's this belief that before we even get sick or before we even get, you know, the cold or the flu or something more extreme, not saying that the cold or flu is not extreme, that it first manifests itself into the atmosphere the energetic body around us. And then it starts to communicate, connect with the physical body, and we get physically ill. So this residual body or this residual energy field is right here, right within our, what we like to call, you know, our personal space. And I feel like spirit has me talking about this because I want you to know that this is important for us after we've healed to also heal this part of our body, work on this part of our body and to cleanse it, to release what we've now healed, also heal it in the residual body. So the residual body, what spirit has told me is that it holds on to what happened. It holds on to what happened. Therefore, the energies are remained behind. And so it's left within the surrounding body feel. So think about that. You've just physically healed. You're no longer physically sick. Yet the sickness, the illness, the disease... And let's take it to another level. You've just released a thought, a negative thought. But now it's no longer in the physical mind, but it's in the residual body. That residual energy, I get it's like a flux around us. It looks like if it's an, an egg-shaped energy, from what I can see. And it still has all of the stuff that the physical body just healed from. So I feel like some steps that we can take immediately is to really clear the residual body of anything that we know or do not know. And that way we don't have to take back on that illness or that sickness. I feel this is important for us to understand because we've been like, oh, I keep getting sick. <laughs> I keep getting sick. My immunity is messed up. Well, it could be true, 
But it could also be that your physical body as well, and then the residual body has all this stuff hanging out in it. So pay attention that I personally have used Sajin, Smudgen. I've been playing my crystal singing bowls lately. I have been listening to a lot of this. I, can, I never always mess up this word. Sufflejo <laughs> hurts type of music, which has this high frequency. Well, I should say different frequencies that works with the energy feel around us, that works with the frequency of movement and creation. And really nothing could stay in your etheric feel or this residual body if you're listening to things that create movement and, and moves it away and dissipates it. But there can be an action that you take and this action could be very simple to be like, I release from my residual body anything that doesn't serve my highest good. And I like clapping, clapping, clapping. Clapping helps to break that up. But that's just a very minor step. I feel like if you've been really heavy in your stuff, yeah. If you've been really heavy in your stuff, then we need to do more. <laughs> this clapping is going to be like a band-aid. This clapping may just be the beginning. Maybe we need to clap all over, clap all over. Right? And we want to do this when we're not distracted. Hence, kind of like why I'm in my car. <laughs> Before I get out and get distracted, I really wanted to get this message out. So smudging with sage or palo santo or cedar, um, juniper, um, those are some really beautiful incense and smoke that you can get. But I get you need, we need to get it around the entire body. Like there's this egg shape of the residual energy feel around the body. And so we need to smudge all of that back and front. So we need that smoke to surround us. So it's safe to do this outside. I wouldn't do this indoors. I would not to encourage to do this indoors at all. Spirit has just shown me another example. Get out in nature, roll in the grass, roll on the ground, breathe and exhale. I like that. <laughs> I like that one. You know, it may sound crazy to skeptics or, you know, if you're new on this spiritual journey, but I'll be honest with you, connecting with nature and doing these type of spiritual activities is what helps us to ground, to cleanse our aura, now to cleanse the residual body, but it helps us to take care of ourselves spiritually. And in this current year that we're in, there's so much influx. There's all these shifts and changes. And I feel that as we go through shift and change and influx, shift and change and influx, that we have to continuously clean the residual body as well. So you don't want to do all of this physical body work and neglect the mental body or the emotional body or now the residual body, this energy feel right outside here of us, which really is only residual when there is stuff in it, when there's stuff to still be released. It's not existent. Unless there's something in it to still heal and be released to. It exists when you've just gone through any kind of illness or sickness, and then it's still lingering in this feel of energy here. Mm -hmm. So when it doesn't exist is when we've healed the physical, we've healed the etheric feel. So that there is no residual. Uh, 
hmm, take a moment with that because we have been through so much. We are continuing to go through a lot. And in the middle of it all, we are transforming. We are healing. We are getting healed. We are regenerating. We are being regenerated. <laughs> we are restoring and we are being restored. So the last thing we need to do is to be careless that we didn't clean this beautiful etheric energy around us that's so close to us that we may feel physically fine and then we feel like but well, something still feels off. It's because it's right there. Something kind of feels off because it's still right there. So please just um, take this message and how it works for you. Allow it to permeate your intellect and your understanding to know that even though we are healing and we're maybe doing a lot of healing work, a lot of releasing, clearing, purging, that the energy is still in that feel here. And we need to cleanse that as well. So there's step one, the physical. Step two, the residual energy body. And once we do that, it's no longer residual. Now it's just that etheric body. And it's like we're starting clean again. A nice, fresh, clean page. Um, <laughs> so I've covered everything and... The last thing I'll, I'll do with is, is to do is that I've talked about smudging. Maybe smudging is not your thing. Um, there is the Suflia Joe. And please excuse me if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Hertz music that you can listen to. Um, outdoors. Rolling or sitting on the earth. Walking on the earth. Remember, it needs to get all behind, all around, top, bottom. It's an egg shape. I get dancing, moving your body, feeling the breeze. So, like, even a beach visit or a desert visit or out amongst the trees. But just do the work. Do the work. It's free. It's, it's nothing difficult. The only thing that I see that's a red flag is that we've done all of this healing, all of this purging, and then we don't clean the residual body as well. That's all I have. Thank you. I really needed to get this message out. And I, of course, I do my research on these things. And the residual body, I was surprised to see the explanation of it was on point about the residual body and that energy feel and how energy is still kind of moving through. Even though it may have left the main source, it's still vibrating out. So it's like a still pond and we throw a pebble and then we just see that ripple effect. Well, now we need to clean that ripple effect and complete the entire healing process. Thank you. <laughs> uh, have a great day. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. i still doing my, my juice and greens. Yep, this is my, my, new, this is my new cup for that. Get rid of those cravings. And taking care of ourselves is very important. It's very important. Ah. <gasps> uh. Sending you my love, and if you like this video, please subscribe, share, and, and like. Okay, see you in the other videos. Take care of yourself.